Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We begin in the name of God, and we ask the help of that one to listen to the moment and to speak what might be needed. The reception of the revelation of the Quran, the basis of the way of Islam and its mystical path of Sufism, through the heart of the Prophet Muhammad, may peace and blessings be upon him, was a profound act of listening. Within the Quranic text, specifically 99 names of God are mentioned. Among them is As Sami, the one who is all hearing. As we open to the presence of that one who is all hearing here among us, As Sami, we can awaken that quality, that capacity within ourselves to hear, to listen. With the breath, calling upon Ya Sami, O you who are all hearing, deep within us, listening to the voice of our beloved sustainer within everything, listening for guidance, listening into that presence. It was a woman who lived in what is now Iraq about a century after the opening of Muhammad's prophecy, Rabia el Adawiya, who within the Sufi tradition is recognized as the first to speak of God as the beloved. She gave her devoted attention to the most beloved creator of all that is. She said, O God, Whenever I listen to the voice of anything you have made, the rustling of the trees, the trickling of water, the cries of birds, the flickering of shadow, the roar of the wind, the song of the thunder, I hear it saying, God is one. Nothing can be compared with God. The Prophet Muhammad said, sufficient for you among the women of the world are Maryam, the daughter of Imran, Khadija bin Khuwalid, Fatima bin Muhammad, and Asiya, the wife of Pharaoh. All of these women had a deep capacity to listen and to act on what they heard. Khadija, the beloved first wife of the Prophet, who recognized the truth. Fatima, his beloved daughter, flowing through him, so illumined she was called the most radiant. And Asiya, who stood against the status quo, listening to her heart, adopting a son whose truth she recognized, Moses. As the Sufi poet Rumi says, let the Mary of your body give birth to the Jesus of your spirit. Rumi's whole masterwork of 26,000 lines of poetry begins with the word, Listen. Rumi reminds us, it is the cry of the babe that causes the milk in the mother's breast to flow. Rumi encourages us to increase our thirst. In any moment, we can pause and listen, and through that listening, realign. In this moment, we share a sample reflection of Asami. Asami, the all-hearing one, 
Ya Sami, Ya Basir. Ah, the moon is full. No wonder I can't sleep. Thank you for bringing me out into its radiance. The cicadas drone in celebration and tree frogs ribbit in response. Vibration pulses everywhere, in light, in sound, in hearts. This week I learned it really matters who tunes your piano, what they are hearing, and how their heart is tuned. Overtones linger of our own narratives we have whispered. What is the story we are telling ourselves? Is it yours, O oh, you who hear all things and know when we are out of tune? Rectify us in your truest sound. Realign our voices and all our corresponding movements into praise, into songs of celebration, of service, and of love. Ah, lady, sweet lady, who listened so well, you brought forth new being within such radiance, the sound of the beloved whispered through an angel, became a blessed son whose word opened hearts and still does. May we also listen with such care to the songs that you are singing in our lives, in our deepest hearts, O oh, Sami, you who are all hearing the most beautiful sound of all sounds. Ya Sami, O oh, you who are all hearing, Ya Basir, O oh, you who are all seeing. The Quran reminds us, remain conscious of God, for truly, God is all hearing, all knowing. And when Abraham and Ishmael were raising the foundations of the temple, they prayed, O oh, our sustainer, accept this from us, for truly, you alone are all hearing, all knowing. O oh, our sustainer, bring ourselves into surrender to you and make of our offspring a community that shall surrender itself to you and show us our ways of worship and accept our repentance. For truly, you alone are the acceptor of repentance, the infinitely merciful. Again, the Quran reminds us, Lo, the angels said, O Mary, behold, God sends you the glad tiding through a word from him of a son who shall become known as the Christ Jesus, son of Mary, of great honor in this world and in the life to come, and of those who are drawn near to God. Always remember the blessings which God has bestowed on you and the solemn pledge by which he, she, bound you to himself, herself, when you said, we have heard and we pay heed. And so remain conscious of God. Truly, God has full knowledge of what is within hearts.